In war-torn northwest Syria, government forces have escalated their attacks on residential areas, leaving a trail of destruction and displacing thousands of people. Abu Muhammad, like many others, had to leave his village during the intense bombing. However, he says he will always return because this is home. We were displaced many times and now we are living in bombed out houses because we can't bear to live anywhere else. They destroyed the main hospital, the mosque and hundreds of houses. Whenever we rebuild, we are confronted by bombings. For families here living under attack has become part of life. Abu Abdullah has built an underground shelter for his family. I built this shelter for my family so we don't have to be displaced again. The past couple of days were scary. More than 40 missiles fell in the area. Life is getting harder. This is one of the areas in southern Idlib that has come under repeated attack this week. Jabal al Zawiya is made up of dozens of villages, and authorities here say they have been targeted by airstrikes, resulting in many casualties. The attacks have also damaged facilities, including medical centers. Despite the challenges they face, many people in northwest Syria are trying not to give up. They have survived 12 years of conflict. However, as the horrors of war continue to mount, they have few choices. Leave their homes or stay and risk being killed. Nakormasha Jazeera, Idlib, not in Syria. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.